Welcome to the chicken only POW world run. Last episode, we, well, we started and we caught a chicken and things were going great. And then by the end of the episode, we realized things were not great. We ran into a major issue that was gonna make this challenge impossible. For those unaware, to make ingots, you need ore in this primitive furnace. After that, you catch a fire type POW who has the work suitability kindling, and they simply heat up the ore and you get ingots. Chickens are not equipped with Uncle Iroh's firebending abilities, so there's no way for me to get ingots. But guess what? There is one and only one other way of getting ingots with a chicken only world, and that is from a drop from the alpha boss named Bushi. Bushi is a level 23 fire type who has a 100% drop chance of ingots when you kill him. The savior of this challenge is found in this one pal, so we must start farming kills for ingots as soon as we possibly can. All right, see how this works. I'm doing one damage. And it one shot my chicken here. Oh! Yeah, at the moment, Bushi is a little too high of a level for me to defeat, but that doesn't stop me from taking on the easier Alpha Pals that are out there in the world. I would like to introduce to you all Pen King. He's a level 15, so maybe I have a better chance here. And while I was fighting Pen King, something happened. Is he, do I have him glitched up? This is huge, if, I, if I've got him bugged. Well, it turns out that uh, since Pal World is still in beta, pals are pretty dumb and they get trapped behind things easily. So I'm going to abuse this as much as I possibly can right now. All right, this is equally as dumb. I'm now able to slap him through the wall. So I'm able to get a little bit of chip damage in every once in a while. Don't freeze me. Ooh. I didn't think that was gonna do damage. Are you kidding? No. <laughs> Whatever, I never liked penguins anyways, but with this new knowledge, I decided to head back to Bushi and the same glitch applied to him. Come on, dude. Please give me some ingots. Four, three, two, one. Dang, this is so big for the challenge. It's not even funny, man. I can craft guns, the grappling gun, so many things that I'll need and I just I thought I would never be able to use. Ah, uh, of course, everything's bittersweet. I did find a way to find ingots. However, it looks like I'm gonna have to wait an hour every time I want a new one. By the way, uh, I'll find this out later, but this timer does not go down unless I'm logged in. There's no way of making this go faster. Even sleeping in game does nothing. So I have to be playing and wait for an hour. This is about to be a massive grind, but still the fact that I can even get ingots right now is amazing and I'm willing to be patient. Knowing that I had a potentially 20 hour grind ahead of me just for one item, I thought of the most G Genius plan. It's big brain time. I know I can't catch other pals, but what if you can still use their abilities for your base? If I could kite this Fox Sparks back to my base, what would happen if he shot some fire at me? I could stand right next to the primitive furnace and maybe the fire will actually ignite it and count as kindling. We gotta try this, man. Oh, this would be so massive if this somehow works. It's not doing anything, is it? Is it, I think it's just breaking it. Oh no, okay, it's it's definitely not working. It's just damaging the furnace now. So man, that would have been the most biggest brain move of any Power World player ever, damn. All right, well, there's no way of cheesing through this challenge. We simply just need to grind it out. We need to get some ingots and we need to get some levels. Let's do this. Let's go, dude. Finish him, yeah, two ingots. One ingot. Ah. Here we go. Three, two, let's go. All right, we've made a ton of progress. I think we're high enough level now to take down the first of the five syndicate bosses, Zoe and Grisbold. Now this may seem a little bit cheesy, however, I don't care because this challenge is very difficult and I'm gonna have a lot of opportunities to fail, but I did manage to get Zoe and Grisbold in a similar stuck situation. And now I just have to rely on my chicken to do enough damage. Dude, let's see the XP drop. Oh, let's go. Nice. Is that my base down there? Where are all my chicken? Look at all the eggs you can see from here. You know, I was feeling pretty good. We got the first of the five syndicate bosses down, and now I wanted to go straight back to Pen King, that damn penguin boss that took me out the first time. And we are level 17, so he's gonna be a lot easier. And boom, there it is, quick kill. We are now four out of 45 on the alpha bosses. You know, as fun as killing bosses are and making progress in the challenges, 
This right here, making a cloth outfit for 10 minutes, that's the good stuff. Just kill me. Another one. Today is a great day. We're making a ton of progress. And since I'm level 18 now, Azerobe is the next on the hit list of alpha bosses to kill. Azerobe, though, for some reason, is much tougher than I thought it would be. For starters, my, my chickens are barely staying afloat out there. And secondly, my damage output is just honestly so atrocious. I made a poison bow and some poison arrows, and that's the only reason why I'm able to do damage right now. I also learned that Azerobe is kind of a dick. I don't think he's very liked out here in this lake because I got an unexpected helper. Who's that? Oh, he's helping. Finish him, Kelpsy. Nice. This dude helped. Are you kidding? Oh, man. I want to catch this thing so bad right now, but I can't. I need your XP. Oh, you're pit. I know you're mad. I know you're mad. So sorry. All right, another hour has passed and we're back to slapping around Bushi. And I wanna to talk to you guys about the current goal. Opening ingots for this challenge was massive. And there's one particular item I can make with those ingots that will give me the biggest buff I can get. It's the Pal Essence Condenser. This nifty little item allows you to upgrade your pals to rank four, which raises its base stats significantly. There's no question in my mind that this is the most important item to get, but it does cost 20 ingots. That is our next goal and we are going to get it this episode. This kill right here makes ingot number eight, so we have roughly 12 hours of waiting to do. Whoops, I immediately missed an ingot kill from last hour, but this is a new hour. We got a double drop as well, and that's going to make ingot number 12. Two ingots. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. We're at 14 now. Feeling good. One ingot. So you're... I, so you're fighting, I didn't know. So you're playing this with only chickens? Yep. Mm -hmm. Chicken only. There it is. Oh, we got a one ingot. I just woke up and I, it's kind of embarrassing to admit, but I had a dream that I lost my ingots somehow. I can't remember how I lost them. I think I died somewhere and couldn't get them back. I'm not sure, but you know it's bad if you're having dreams about losing in-game items, man. Boom! ingot number 17 there it is oh a double drop too ingot number 19 acquired i do want to mention something to you guys about the weapons i'll be using for the rest of this challenge there, there's definitely a lot that i'm not going to be able to use however there is a strong weapon that i can use the musket it only has a one magazine side however it does a thousand base damage which compared to the bat i'm using right now at 50 the musket is going to be a massive upgrade it does cost ingots but there is a different way to get a musket that we will find out later on okay after a long 14 hours of grinding bushi this kill right here marks ingot number 20. Ooh, actually ingot number 21 since we got the double drop let's go this means we officially have enough ingots to make the pal essence condenser however i'm not ready to make it just yet since i really want to make sure that this first upgrade is truly the best choice for me i mean this game is so new i mean what if they add an update where i can use these ingots for something else i do want to mention something that i've been doing in between these bushy kills for the ingots and it's this fruit tree the magical tree that provides you with these berries that can be used on your pals i'm sure most of you know but these berries can give your pals different abilities they're basically the tms of the pokemon world you just use them on a pal and you get a new move. Farming these fruit trees every three to four hours, which is about their spawn rate I've figured out, is going to be pinnacle for this challenge. I need to make sure that I'm using super effective moves against any boss that I take on. These fruits come in different rarities and I'm really looking for the epic quality ones since those are obviously the best. This harvest wasn't the best, but we'll come back later for sure. And we're back home at Bushi. I'll never really stop farming this boss. These ingots are way too precious. I did skip a few recordings, but this is ingot number 26. Oh, hello there. Another hour just passed in a few seconds, but we just got ingot number 28, another double drop. I don't know why, but nighttime is extremely extremely dark, but I wanted to catch you guys up on a, a little goal I had for myself. I decided that I should travel around a little bit. I haven't done much traveling and I heard that there were merchants that you can maybe buy some stuff from and I really got to go find out where those guys are. And side note though, this blaze howl knocked looks so sick at night, man. I don't want to say I regret picking chicken only, but uh, yeah. Oh, he's blowing fire. I mean, no, 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 I should have. 
Dude, he's so badass. My chicken can't do that. I ran back and got my items, made it safely through the rest of the night, and I found myself in what looks like Miami Beach. I've seen a couple level 30s here, but I still ventured forward. And then soon in the distance, I noticed some buildings that I figured needed some investigating. Fisherman's Point. All right, fast travel. That's nice. We can come back here whenever now. It's pretty cool. A couple huts out here on the, on the water. Pretty high real estate, I would guess. This merchant. I don't know what merchants sell what, but I... Yup, I heard that some merchants can sell guns. There it is. Oh man, that's exactly what we were looking for. I had no idea where they were. I just knew that some merchants had guns and we really needed this. Boom, shakalaka, there we go. I sold some things. We have 50,000 gold and I am going to buy the handgun. No one can stop me from murdering pals. I'm going to finally play the game. I'm tired of hitting pals with a bat. It's now my turn to have a chance to play. And maybe I got a little cocky because I went straight up the mountain where I started to burn to death and ran into a level 30 firebird that didn't want me there. Oh, I gotta go, I gotta go. Have I mentioned how terrible it is to not have a flying mountain this game? Like I gotta climb up these stupid ass mountains like this. It's, it's getting kind of old, but I'm doing this all for a certain purpose. Near the heart of this super hot mountain that I'm climbing is a skill fruit tree that should drop higher quality fruits since we're in a place that's a little bit higher level overall. So I'm making a desperate run to this thing. Oh, we made it, I think. About to be dead and I'm on fire, but I made it to the fast travel point. I don't have to worry about making that trek ever again. And I think right up here, up these long steps to this really cool looking statue thing there should be a skill fruit tree i'm dying though i'm dying there it is okay oh, i don't even know if i have time for this man i'm dying i'm burning alive come on it was nighttime and i was fine it randomly changed a day well not randomly i mean that's just how things go but look here we go i got three I don't, i'm not gonna make it back yeah there's there's no way i make it back i'm gonna die right here with my new fruits Thank God there's a fast travel point right there. Bro, running back to grab my stuff almost completely naked. I don't know how I'm still burning because I have like no clothes on. All right, I just got to get out of here, man. I just got to get out of here before anything else bad happens. Oh, let's go. We did get an epic 55 cooldown time and 150 damage. Solar blast. This is going to be good. If we fight any water types, this is going to be my move that I use every single time. Let's go, dude. The travel was worth it. We got a gun. We got some skill fruits things are looking good. You know what? Why should we stop the good progress now? Let's just go ahead and make the pal essence condenser. I have everything already for it. Let's just go ahead and build it. All right. This thing is massive, dude. Let's try to put this thing right over here. Let's see how long this thing is going to take to build. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll see you guys in five minutes. Five minutes. I'll never get back. Nah, just kidding. It's going to be huge. My chickens are about to be extremely strong. I, I am curious to see how much it increases. Oh, let's go. All right, so we are going to put in what the fuck you looking at, of course. We need four pals, and I have plenty. So let's just do this one, maybe some low level ones. Three, four. So we're going to go from 1637 health to 1739. We're going to gain 18 attack and 15 defense. That's actually a big amount. However, I'm going to wait because I've realized what the fuck you looking at, although he does have a... Uh, a very, a very good skill here with increasing my defense. A much better passive skill is Muscle Head. As you can see, the attack is 30% more. Attack man is level 22, has 302 attack compared to 237 of the fuck you looking at. So I'm gonna go catch some chickens. There's a, there's a chance we catch a chicken that is way better than anything I've, I've seen so far. So this will have to wait for a minute, but our next quest all of a sudden has turned into catching as many things as we can. Let's do this. And this chicken right here is lucky number 64. With all of them caught, it is now time to upgrade Attack Man to level four. He is going to be the strongest chicken in all of Power World. So first things first, we gotta go in here and uh, take a look at those chickens we got. There is one that looked like it could have been good. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, here's a serious. Serious means, okay, 20% work speed is not gonna do anything for us. A serious and an artisan. So we know artisan is not good, we know serious is good. Damn, this would be a fast worker. It looks like we are gonna actually keep Attack Man, who is a double up on Muscle Head. So let's get his attack up one more time. And another time, so he's at 327 attack before he's even a four star. Well, let's see what happens. And let's just start throwing in these chickens. 
Number one, begin condensation. Yup, condensation complete. Let's go. All right, where is he? So he is level two, 343 attack. Pretty good. And let's try it again. So we need 16 chickens this time. Begin condensation. Nice. All right, he's at 360 attack now. He's looking very strong. We need 32 now. And I am just now realizing that I have underestimated how many chickens I need. I thought it was 64 total which means I'm gonna have to go back out there and catch some more. All right, here we go, begin. There we go, okay. Attack is very high. This is his final, he needs 64. There it is, I did. I one extra chicken, that's nice. This will make him his final level, he's gonna get 13 attack, he'll be level five, and boom. There we go, let's check him out. 401 attack. That's actually very good. I never thought we'd have that much compared to what the fuck you're looking at. 244. 401 attack. I mean, that is strong. I kind of want to go test it out on something here. Honestly, we might be able to take on King Paka. All right. Attack man is ready. We're going to shoot the small ones to help out. One shot. I want every bullet to matter here. So one's already dead. There's the second one. Okay, attack man's doing some work. Yeah, he's got some good damage. He's got some good damage. His defense is not good, but he's not taking too much. Nice. I'm going to pick him up. Oh, my! he was about to dodge. Wait a second. My chicken might be goaded. Nice. Big kill, big kill. Six out of 44. Man, we have made a ton of progress in these last few days, but it kind of feels bad that we're still only six of 45 on the alpha bosses and one of five on the main bosses. We have done a ton of prepping, but I think it's time that we get our murder on. We got to make these Giga Chad alpha pals feel more like betas. Next episode, I intend to take out as many as possible. I'm sure you noticed that I was building up a grapple gun and I thought since we've been doing so well, why not treat myself to something nice? Probably more than half my time navigating throughout this world is literally just sprinting. I have no way for movement. So the fact that we have a grappling gun that can just send us to the next big place, I mean, that's massive. And I actually have a feeling that if I do this correctly, I might be able to actually get a boost of speed. Uh, or or negative speed. <laughs> I, I don't know what's happening. I, I might actually be glitched. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually stuck. <laughs> okay, maybe this is gonna, maybe this is gonna take me longer now to navigate throughout the world. Now that we're fully strapped with a gun and we have the grapple gun, these alpha bosses are going down.